Europe. 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 I figured that I might have to be doing some sort of biology job because that's what a lot of people assume that Europe is. But um, then I was doing more research on it independently and um, I, I don't know, I figured out that there were other projects available. So I decided to give it a shot. You know, it's like undergrad, I'm an undergrad, research, I could like research, opportunity, why not? So, you know, let's do it. <laughs> We are going to attend a rally, it's an anti-war peace rally um, for the Midwest in Chicago and we're going to hand out surveys. So right now I'm working on lifetime and reliability testing of solar cells. A solar panel that you could roll up or you could wear on like a shirt or the paint of your car. While your car is just sitting there, you basically have it coated in the solar cell and you're collecting energy which powers your car. My Europe project is called Michigan Ojibwe. So me and Dr. Nori meet t twice a week and we answer questions from the website that people have about the language. We um, tra do translations of like songs and children's books and we send out our correct lesson plans to Ojibwe teachers from all, all over the Midwest. This project is actively studying um, the botanical remains of the Romanian site of Peshka, how crops and um, plants were used by inhabitants as the city became a prominent economic center in Bronze Age Europe. Well, I hope to study environmental law, so this project is interesting in that it shows people how, how they've affected the environment in the past. We take the database, um, and I've been looking for about five or six different reviews um, for each film. For instance, um, I watched the original Norwegian version of Insomnia, um, and then I watched the American version with, you know, Robin Williams in it. I sat down and I watched both films. You just look at the overall themes of the movie, you look at the dialogue and, you know, if there's plot differences, um, the choice of actors for each character, um, basically just the general interpretation of the film. We're trying to measure the effect of globalization on transnational film remakes as well as the globalization that they bring into other countries. I went to the Midwest Peace Rally um, in Chicago and there I passed out surveys and I was also able to walk in the um, march down Michigan Avenue. I definitely felt that there's like, different groups and different people representing their own cause in a way that was somewhat connected. It was awesome. I had so much fun. It was like a hands-on experience that I can make the connection between the work I do here and the work that is done out at those rallies. If you're really passionate about something and they don't offer maybe like a class for it, Europe is a great way to do something like you love and not have to take a class for it. I wanted an experience outside of the traditional lecture hall or discussion section environment and it's critical, I think, for establishing relations with faculty members who can help you pursue your future goals. It's been great. Um, Dan Herbert is the guy I'm working with. Yeah, Dan's great. He's, yeah, he's so much fun. It's a really interesting project and I have really great mentors and um, it's just, it's so fun and exciting to be working on something and really feel like you're contributing and making a difference. 